Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to connect ChatGPT directly to NN and Entertainment Flow using a webhook. No forms, no coding. We will build a custom GPT that collects project data and send to N810 using a live webhook. I actually built a project tracker in N810 recently using its build in form to collect input. But in this video, we are replacing that form with ChatGPT itself. So if you are curious how to use GPT to actually trigger automations, update Google Sheets and send emails, stay with me. Let me quickly show you what I built earlier. This is a smart project tracker built in NA10. It takes in project details like the name, description, client emails, and preferred deadline, and then create milestones, logs of project, schedule talks, send emails, or add to a Google Sheet. Originally, I used an NA10 form trigger for input, but now we are switching to webhook that gets triggered by a custom GPT. All right, let's dive in. First, we have to replace the form with the webhook. Open your workflow in N810. Delete or disable the form trigger node. Then click on plus and add a webhook node instead. Click on webhook node, set the method to post and copy the webhook URL. This is the endpoint that GPT will call when it submits a new project. Keep the rest of workflow as it is, maybe a Google Sheet node, an email node, or a calendar event, however you want to process the project. Now chat GPT doesn't know how to talk to our webhook. We need to teach it. For that, we use something called an open API schema. It's like blueprint that tells GPT how to format the request. So I use another custom GPT called Action GPT to generate it for me. I gave it this exact prompt. Help me create an open API schema in JSON so I can give it to a custom GPT and it will send data to my webhook. This is my webhook address. And the fields, I choose project name, description, client email, and preferred deadline. And I have set the data type for all of these fields to string. All right, now we have our open API schema. Let's walk through the full process of building and testing the custom GPT. Go to the GPT, click on create a GPT. You will see a builder with a few fields to fill. Fill these out with the name project submitter, description, this GPT collects project details and send them to my N810 webhook. And in instructions, you can write something like ask the user for the following project name, description, client email, and preferred deadline. Once all, once all four fields are collected, send the data to submit project action. Scroll down and enable code interpreter and data analysis. And then click on create new action. Paste the full open APIs JSON schema you just generated. GPT will automatically recognize the action submit project. Go back to NA10 and click on execute workflow. Hit test. You should immediately see your N and N workflow execute. Once your test is successful, go ahead and publish your GPT. Click on create set visibility to only me and hit publish GPT. That's it. Your custom GPT is now live and ready to use just like any other assistant. Now let's test the full automation. No form, just voice or chat with chat GPT. Say something like, hey, I want to submit a new project. It's called Website Makeover and upload your PDF file, which I just created as a sample. The GPT will ask any missing info, then automatically call the webhook with the data and boom. And it then will catch it and run the full smart project record workflow. Well, just to recap this part, you created a custom GPT connected it to your N8 and webhook using OpenAPI, tested it with a dummy call, then used the same GPT to power your real world automation, all without needing to fill a form, just a natural chat experience with AI. Well, now your automations are no longer limited to forms or manual input. You can build GPTs that takes order, book meeting, create tasks, start projects, or even onboard clients, all without the user even knowing they are interacting with an automation engine like N8 and in the background. It actually feels personal, conversational, and it saves you or your users a ton of time. And that's it. Now you know how to connect ChatGPT directly to your N8 and workflow using Webhook and OpenAI. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you want a full template or download file. 
I will be dropping more AI automation tutorial every week, so stay tuned. Until next time, keep building awesome stuff and automate smarter.